update on the bobber, shadow bobber I'm building. I pretty much have chassis back into a rolling chassis. I got all the wheels cleaned up. The big problem was once I got the wheels cleaned up, everything looked great, new tires. The, the big problem I ran into was the factory rotor is painted and even though I got the wheels pretty clean, the, the rotor was pretty much ate up with rust. So right now, getting ready to take the rotor, we're going to paint it black the same color as I painted the frame where I welded in the seat pan covers and where the seat pegs standoffs are. That was all painted the same like satin black. So once that's complete, I have uh, a little bit of wiring to do to finish for the tail light. Uh, I got to run the cables for the throttle and clutch cables and brake line and then this thing's pretty much almost ready to roll down the road so uh, here we go I'm gonna get that all painted for you today all right so I just got done getting the rotor painted uh, I put about four ish coats of satin black on it just wanted to give you a, a quick update too. So here's one of the parts that are powder coated. It's the uh, fender rail for the rear. They were chrome. This also used to have the helmet lock on it, which shaved metal finished. And uh, wanted that gone. It was pretty ugly. So that kind of cleaned that up. But you can see this rotor looks much better. This is uh, just four coats of satin paint. That's going to match. You can see here the satin powder. also going to clean that front end up a lot so there's also a video that I'll probably be showing you now of you'll see the how the front end went together the difference between the black and the chrome four tubes uh, the black triple tree the fork lowers being black all that stuff coming together and then obviously you can see behind me the tank um, paint scheme along with the rear fender paint scheme is also white and black so next on the agenda is I'm going to take the fender, since it's a custom made fender, I want to make sure that it, and it's really close to the tire, so there's going to be probably a lot of stuff kicking up off of it. I'm going to flip it over, mask it all up, and put some truck bed liner on the inside of it just as a little added protection. So that'll probably happen either this evening or tomorrow. And then uh, we're going to finish wiring now, and I'm guessing probably it's going to be on the road here in a couple days. So uh, we'll have another video as, as things start coming together. And and there's, there's a couple little uh, caveats of what I need to figure out. The exhaust didn't really turn out how I wanted, so I got to do a little work there. But we're getting close. So stay tuned. I'm also put a link to our Instagram at the bottom. I pretty much, I update it pretty regularly. So if you want to know what's going on pretty much almost instantaneously, what's going on the bike, what's not going on the bike, what other bikes we're working on in here, uh, go ahead and, and subscribe to our Instagram. Follow, give us a follow. and. You'll keep up with everything we're working on. Have a good one.